Was it really worth DIYing both of our skylights for 260 euros if there is a lot of aftermarket options out there for you to choose from? Today we will be answering that question while replacing one of them because over the winter this happened. But if you can see this little stripe here, this is where it's ripped into the window. Well the short answer to that is, do you like cheap, customizable and a little jank? Then this is the option for you. We would definitely do this again, although in a more engineered manner. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's swap out the window and then talk about the pros and cons later on. Since we're currently parked up at the side of the road and there's quite some things in the way of us putting up our ladder, we are going to try and push our van a little bit backwards. Our battery is currently dead, which is why we can't drive it. So let's see if we can move this heavy ass van. It is dusty. Imagine it just starts. But I can't believe that it's this hard because I've pushed quite a few cars. It's not looking too good. Since that didn't work, Robin has resorted to just chopping off the bushes. While Robin is chopping away, I'm going to explain to you the problem at hand. We have two skylights in our van, one in the back and one in the front, and we made these fully ourselves. We will link the video where we describe everything up here so you can check that out if you're interested. As you can see, both of these windows are currently covered up by some plastic sheet and that is because both of them have a leak. This is something that people already told us beforehand. For example, the person that we bought the glass from, he was like, are you sure you want to do this? Because it's quite difficult to actually seal it properly that no water gets in your van. We were like, no, we got this. We have a really good plan. It's gonna work. It kind of worked. <laughs> Like, most of it is sealed, but there are, like, little gaps in there somewhere that are letting water through. So, first issue we have is that we need to seal these back up. Big so second project is replacing uh, this entire window as it has a ginormous, ginormous, mm -hmm. ginormous crack in it. Uh, this ain't the window's fault. I kind of let an electric tool slip and it only like barely cracked the side of it. But over the winter it got huge and now we have to replace the entire thing. We're gonna do that by basically just cutting off the sealant that it's sitting on and then just replacing the entire thing. We have quite the system going now which makes it a lot easier to cut through the Sikaflex on the top. I'm holding a wooden block against the glass from the bottom and Robin is pretty much pushing against it with his knife and just cutting all three stripes of Sikaflex at the same time. We have two sides done. We hope that if we do a third one we can just lift it out. We'll see. We'll keep going. Nice. Okay. Okay, we got it. That's wild. It ain't pretty, but we got it. Jesus. Where the fuck do I put this? Got a hole in our van once again. Now to replace that with our new glass. We got this from the same place where we got the original glass, but unfortunately they gave us this one with a little bit tinted. The others were not tinted at all, so we just hope that it's not going to look too stupid. 
when one of them is tinted and the other one isn't but I guess we don't really have a choice now so we're going to start putting this one in why is this so scary to me We have a window in the front again, which is definitely a good sign, but to be honest it does bother me that it has a slightly different color than the one in the back. I don't even know if you can properly see this on camera, but it has just like a little bit of like a blue-green tint, and I just think the one in the back is like so beautiful that you can just literally see everything in its normal colors, so it kind of bothers me that the one that you normally see is not that way. But I'll get over it, I won't be sad about it forever, let's hope. <laughs> and that was definitely our fault, like having to change out a window is not regular procedure for when you do your own skylights. Not what? It's not our fault. Not the tint, but that we had to replace the window. Oh yeah, okay. Because the tint really isn't our fault. No, that was not our fault. So the beauty of van building is that there is no right answer for most of the questions. So it always comes down to preference. Nonetheless, let's go over some talking points of pre-build versus custom. First thing is obviously that custom means you can make any size, any height, any depth that you need for your custom specification. Pre-built windows are of course always in a fixed measurement. So if you need something that just barely fits between your solar panel, you're gonna have to make it yourself. Second point, price. Even with having to reinstall a complete new glass for our second window, we are still only at 320 euros for the entire installation, including the frame, including Sikaflex and the glass and everything. And in comparison, most pre-built windows start at the same price for only one window in the smaller size that we have. Another point for our custom skylights is that you can make them look very high-end since it's glass and you can make the frame yourself. You can use the same materials that you already used around your van and then just kind of fits in. Most of the pre-built ones are just plastic and a very weird white that you can't that you can't really fit into everything. Of course, the pre-built ones also have their positives. Well, you don't have to build them. They are already there. You just buy them, you make a hole, you put them in, and you're done. Another huge positive of pre-builds is that they come with blackout curtains and bug nets pre-installed, so you don't have to worry about making your own and finding like a magnetizing system and customizing your own like blackout curtains that we ha still have to do and is still a headache. So if you want an easy way, go with a pre-build if it fits your belt. Lastly, a negative for both of them is that y you have to make a hole and you have to seal them properly, which with both you're never too sure if there is going to be a leak at some point during your travels as salt water is horrible for example, also UV light and everything just deteriorates your sealant. So you're never really sure if you put a skylight in if it's going to leak or not. Would I do it again? Yes. I would do it differently and I would learn from the mistakes that I've done now. Um, currently we only have a single frame sitting on top of our roof. I would build a second frame from below the roof and then sandwich the roof in between them. I would also use some sort of sealant ring that goes all the way around that I would sandwich between the wooden pieces and the roof. So you have at least one continuous seal and then you can, you can use as much sealant that you want but you always know that there is one continuous seal in the middle and lastly I would weld the aluminum frame that I put over it as I'm pretty sure that the corners are one of our main concern currently as they have slits and are not sealed correctly I always have to put a fuck ton of Sikaflex over it and that's probably one of the things that has been leaking in the past yeah, I am very happy with how they turn out in the end, but there is definitely room for improvement. But I would do this 
any day of the week as we just needed a custom option and it's just so much cheaper. But with that, on to the next adventure next week on our goal of finishing this thing and getting on the road. See you then. Bye!